Now for an NBC Montana exclusive. The vast expanse of the cosmos to the fertile landscapes of the Earth. The quest for sustainable food production is rising to new levels. We're taking you to Florida, where one, where one Montana-based company aims to redefine the future of agriculture in space. Garden City Fungi, in collaboration with Florida Atlantic University, launched a mission into the upper levels of the stratosphere, harnessing the fungal power of mycelium to create carbon dioxide to feed plants in space. And we sent a very small bit of mycelium that emits carbon dioxide in a very small greenhouse that housed two plants into the beginnings of space to study the effects of solar radiation on plants. This year's launch had 33% more capacity and stretched about 30 miles above Earth's surface. Dr. Todd Osmundson is at the forefront of this groundbreaking research. He helped Garden City fungi sequence mycelium strains in the past. So one of the things we want to know is what is the effect of solar radiation on the genome of the fungus? So we're sequencing the whole genome of the fungus before it goes up into space and then after it comes back to see what sort of changes we can observe. Osmundson is a UM and MSU alum whose work highlights the meticulous effort behind Garden City Fungi's groundbreaking approach to space agriculture. One thing that's really good about this particular strain is it will put out a, a consistent amount of carbon dioxide uh, for a fairly long period of time which is pretty important for growers to know how much carbon dioxide they're going to get. Thomas McGowan and his team at Florida Atlantic University were in charge of getting the project off the ground, ensuring they could study the mycelium, CO2 output, plant viability, and its reaction to space radiation. We want to expose our plants to the radiation because they are modified to sustain this higher levels in space to possibly see if they could be cultivated and and see if there's any differences in the short-term research that we, able, we are able to collect and work towards being able to sustain long-term farming in space. This high-altitude balloon mission hovered above commercial flights, but below the space station, Glenn is eager to see just how far the company can push the boundaries of agricultural innovation. With the goal of someday that these CubeSats will be launched off of the space station. That's the ultimate goal, and a lot of this work will contribute to the Artemis mission, and in particular, the outpost gateway. And since the mission's successful return to the troposphere, the mycelium has been sent to Wisconsin for sequencing. This is one step in humanity's quest to sustain life beyond our planet. Reporting in Missoula, Kylie Gibson, NBC Montana.